Yo, what's up, YouTube? If you watched my last video, I talked a little bit about how to make a controller for testing, but now I wanna talk about testing different motors or connecting controllers to different motors. Sometimes the phase wires and hall sensor cables, which are these six cables coming out right here, are not the right alignment or the right pinout for that controller or motor combination. So sometimes you have to fiddle with that until you get it right. Um, if you are having trouble connecting your controller to your motor, you can go ahead and get this diagram. I'll post a link to it and maybe I'll put it in the video description and in the overlay so you can get a, a good sense of it and you can pause the video. So I'll put that in now. And basically, uh, it's a way to, to connect your uh, controller to your motor and make sure that it actually functions. So sometimes you'll go to wire it up, green to green, yellow to yellow, blue to blue, and same here, green to green, yellow to yellow, blue to blue, and it won't go. So it'll be stuttery, it'll go, it'll move back and forth and it won't go. So if you get that issue, um, you can start here and you can see that if you have everything connected the right way and it has noisy rotation, then you need to first switch the, you can leave all the sensors the same and you can just switch, leave green as a solid lead and then switch yellow and blue. So invert those. So send blue to yellow and yellow to blue. Try that first. If that doesn't work, um, then leave blue as the constant and flip green and yellow. If that doesn't work, leave yellow as the constant and flip these two. So those are the first three primary combinations. If you do any of those and you get a reverse motion, um, then you can see that then you need to exchange the hall sensor wires and then you'll get forward rotation. Uh, so if you have stuttery rotation, flip these around until you have smooth rotation and then judge whether it's reverse or forward. If you have reverse rotation off the bat, then all you need to do is change the hall sensor wires and you'll be straight. Uh, if you um, try all those combinations and it still doesn't work, then you're gonna have to try more combinations and just follow this diagram and keep trying them until you get to the point where you have forward rotation and it's smooth. Um, yes, so that's how you would do it. Um, you gotta have a controller that has quick disconnects so you can go ahead and and, and fiddle with them. If your motor has an adapt uh, a special waterproof connector like this, you'll have to purchase another piece that you can cut so you can do the testing or you can have an adapter handy. Uh, I prefer to leave the controller cable intact and add an extra piece that I can then cut into and test. Uh, if your controller has open connections like this, you can go ahead and shove cables into the pins or uh, and uh, and jumps and then and do it that way. If but if you got waterproof connectors, you're gonna have to do some splicing. But yes, that is how you would do it. You would uh, try the different combos until you get it right. I did some math and figured out that there are only so many combinations so there are six total combinations that you can have of hall sensors if you've tried all six and you don't get a smooth rotation forward or backwards then you're gonna have to do the same thing with the hall sensors so you have six combinations on the hall sensors and you have six combinations on this, so you'll you'll have six here and six here. And if you try all 12 of those combinations, um, you should get a forward rotating motor so long as the controller is compatible with the motor. So here I am attaching the cables permanently for power and making connectors, special connectors that I can fiddle with. Um, I made the mistake of thinking that this controller was good to go and went ahead and soldered them, but I had to undo some connections um, once I routed in the bike. Here you can see me routing the controller into the bike frame where it belongs. And I'm powering it up. And you can see 
the motor is stuttery. It's not going. It's actually spinning in reverse. So I went and followed the diagram, like I explained, and was able to figure out the proper pinout. Um, so I went ahead and installed everything permanently. And now we have forward rotation. Perfect. Right on, guys. Peace out.